all right so today's lecture is going to be really interesting so i have always loved to talk about the bigger pictures and to help students and even myself try to understand the big picture and the interactions and the interfaces and the communications which happen for any system may that be immune, immune system or cardiovascular or respiratory or git or whatever uh, whichever system you are trying to work with remember that what you should do is look at the foundations of that system or fundamentals of the system then understand the fundamental functions of the system then try to see what goes wrong the pathology then see what is the pharmacology of that how do we give medicine and help that and then medicine and surgery then they come and they become the um, further um, treatment uh, regimes. So, in this particular case what I wanted to do was this is a continuity of the immune lectures and what I wanted to share with you the concepts which I used for myself to understand the immune system and how it works and why it does what it does. So, for our case today we would think about our body to be a city. So, let us say we have a John will or a Jane will a city which needs to protect itself a city which needs to maintain peace and harmony a city which needs to do homeostasis or stay intact and integral and alive and healthy that city is always being attacked and threatened by the foreign uh, substances these could be pathogens or these could be harmless substances which are still foreign to the body and body might react to it. So, for, for our purpose of discussion today th this should be a quick lecture the idea behind this is to present how in terms of a city which is trying to defend itself and keep peace how our immune system maintains peace inside the body and, and how it defends us. So, let us start from this let us say this board here this is the Jane will or John will this board itself is the city this is our body this is what we need to protect and keep peace in this is outside the board this is the outside the body this is outside the Jane will John will this is where the pathogens are sitting and moving around and trying to find a way to get in. So, in our previous lectures we talked about it the very first barrier which appears is mechanical barrier. So, the skin itself is a barrier the mucous membranes the, the moisture moist surfaces and, and so on the ciliated surfaces the surfaces with the lower pH all those are mechanical barriers I am not trying to revise those we have already talked about them. The basic idea is how does the body now defend itself the bigger picture. So, pathogens are sitting outside uh, this is this seems like a bacteria let us make a little virus in here as well just for fun and this virus is also really you know really angry virus and he wants to get into the body as well and cause some damage and eat some food. So, these guys are sitting here they are trying to attack mechanical barrier comes first let us say that the mechanical barrier got breached the walls of the fort the walls of the city or the doors or the windows something got broken into and the pathogen was able to move into the city. So, now remember this the very first thing inside the city the very first rule of defense of the city is it has some cells it has some soldiers it has some defense uh, personals officers who can differentiate now hear this out they can only differentiate between a foreigner and a local citizen that is all they cannot tell it is a bacteria or a virus or a worm or a pathogen or a, or a, or a other type of um, allergen or pollen all they know is if something is foreign or something is local. So, that is the first thing. So, right behind the walls of the city where the pathogen has entered let us say the pathogen has ended up here right behind the wall of the city there are going to be some cells sitting here I have made them over here we will talk about them in a second there are going to be some cells here which are continuously surveying the area they are continuously looking around and they are trying to see what they are trying to see if there is a foreigner there 
if there is a foreign substance there. So that is the first line of, def well second line of defense. The first line of defense was the mechanical barrier. Okay. So let us see how the John will is maintaining its defense. The very first thing to understand is that the John will has a main soldier making factory or a factory where the personnel, the officers, the policemen, the cops, the soldiers, the, the marines, the, the army men, they are or persons, they are generated here, they are formed here. So the bone marrow is the primary manufacture, defense manufacturing area. We know that the bone marrow is also for the blood cells too, but remember bone marrow is also making immune cells. So what happens is there are two types of immune cells which are formed in the bone marrow. Those cells which when are generated in the bone marrow, they come out and they just move towards the innate immune system, they, they become part of the innate immune system. And what does that mean? Innate immune system is a system which has cells and some proteins, we will talk about them, cells and some proteins which are not specialized systems. That is, they do not attack a particular substance recognizing that to be that way. They only do this, they look at the things which are foreign, that is it. This system does not have memory, this does not have specificity and it is immediate, it would react quickly. This is the second line of defense after the mechanical barriers. So the bone marrow would create some cells which would become part of innate system, some officers, policemen, cops. So let us see what those cells are. The cells which come out of the bone marrow and become part of the innate system, if you see here, the very first cell which I want to talk about is the natural killer cell. So this, this is a scary looking dude here. So he has, he is holding his own little gun and see he is, he is scary, he is wearing an eye patch as well, he is being into the fights. So this dude, if you see his hand over here as well, this dude is really bad. What does he do is, he would massage and check every single thing and see if there is any abnormality into the things he checks. So imagine this to be a cop or a uh, protector of some sort who, who uses his hand to try to understand if the surfaces of the city are okay or the surfaces of the houses are okay, the surfaces of the tree are okay. He is going to massage and touch everything. And if he finds any abnormality, he is going to use his gun to quickly destroy that thing, thinking there is something foreign in there. So we will talk more about it. But natural killer cell is the first effector. So remember, in the immune system, there are various type of players. There are players who actually damage the foreign agents which are in the body. These are called effectors. And then there are players who are modulating the function of these effectors. They are either increasing their activity or they are reducing their activity. These are simply helpers. So most of the time, the cells which are engaged in actually taking care of the pathogen, in killing those cells or tumor cells, these are called effector cells. So natural killer is an effector cell. The funny thing is this, natural killer actually belongs to T cell type. We have not talked about the T cell, we will talk about it in a few minutes, but T cell is actually part of the trained cells. It is part of those officers who are actually trained to kill a particular type of pathogen. But these guys have broken ranks from there. They say, well, we do not want to be trained to only fight a particular type. We want to fight everything. Anything which is going to come and hurt the Jane Will or John, John Will, we are going to go after that. So they have become natural killers. That is why they are called natural killers. They, are, they do not need a trigger to be activated. They are always active, they see the pathogens, they attack them. Okay. So natural killer, if you see th this is holding a gun and he is going to attack anything which he finds with his hand which seems abnormal. Then if you see here, out of the bone marrow comes the leukocytes. Leukocytes are white blood cells, right? Again, most of those are part of the 